What's up, YouTube? This is Malthus97, and welcome back to my Pokemon Red Rescue Team Adventure. Where... where am I? Maybe... is this a dream? Oh, there's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? I can't quite remember. Oh man, we overslept! I think I dreamt something, but I can't quite remember what that dream was about. Oh well, today's another day of rescues. I wonder if I have any mail. Better check the mailbox. Hint, hint. Let's take a look. There is, n there is a warning tag on the side of the mailbox. Open the mailbox at the front. I was, I, that threw me off for a second. Cause like, I, I was like, a warning tag, what is that? I, I guess it's just been so long since I actually looked at the mailbox from the side. Oh, stop. Yes, I know, I wasn't trying to go that far. I didn't check the mailbox, but there was no mail seeking help from the rescue team. From the rescue team. Morning, Hayden, you're up early. Oh, you checked the mailbox, did you? So, so what's the word? Were there any rescue jobs for us? Ha, it was empty. Ah, well, I guess so. After all, we only just started up. Well, no point moping, let's go check Pokemon Square. I think there will be jobs posted at the Pelipper Post Office. Pokemon Square is over this way. Let's go. This is Pokemon Square. That's the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. That's Felicity Bank. Er, Felicity. Yeah, I got that right. You can save your money there. I've no See, the problem is because I played this so much as a kid, all my pronunciations might be off because I didn't, like, when I was first playing this game, I was still kind of, like, learning how to properly read, and there were certain words that I just didn't understand, because Pokemon, Pokemon kind of helped teach me how to read, because I was, like, five or six years old when I first started, so, ah, man, I just gotta make sure that I don't mispronounce things like I would've, because, like, I had completely different names for things, because I didn't know how to read some of the words, so, it's, it's just weird going back to this now that I, like, all these years later. This is Gulpin Link Shop. Gulpin will link moves for you. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them at the same time. If you need details, you'd better you'd be better off asking Gulpin. This is Kangaskhan Storage. Store items here so they'll never be lost. If you have important items, you should store them before you head out to a dungeon. How do you like it? The shops are useful, huh? Oh yeah, there's also the Pelipper Post Office. It's straight ahead past here. I'm sure you can get information on rescue jobs there. So let's start with a visit to the Pelipper Post Office. Oh my god, I... There's just so much to like about this game. So much that I love. Like, the soundtrack is great. I think the world is... is great. Like, these characters. What's up, Lombre? I don't know why, but there have been many natural disasters lately. A lot of Pokemon have gone wild and violent because the disasters scared them. It's a mean world out there. Pardon? Oh, the Pelipper Post Office. The Pelipper Post Office would be straight down this path. It's out at the Cape, you can't miss it. There was a forest fire not long ago. It was terrible. Luckily, Blastoise and Feraligator were able to douse it quickly, but it could have been much worse if they were slower getting there. I uh, get it, because it's a, it's a bell sprout. It's a grass type, it would burn, ah. Yeah, so let's see if the... How much money do I have? How much poke do I have? 602. Let's see what the Kecleon brothers have. Hello, welcome to the Kecleon shop. Feel free to examine my merchandise. Oh, man, there's a Reviver Seed and I can't afford it. Actually, what do I even have? Is there anything that I don't need? Probably not. This early in the game, I could probably use all of this. Yeah, I mean... How often am I going to use Rost Berries? But it's good to keep them for storage. Speaking of storage, that's probably where I should have started, was at Kangaskhan Storage. Hello there, welcome to Kangaskhan Storage. I always found it kind of funny how her expression just changes, like she goes, like that's her casual face, but she goes from like super happy to then now she just looks super serious. And it's like, it's like, hey there, I'm in a great mood. What do you want? That's just kind of, that's just kind of the, the vibe that I always got. Oh, geez. Is, okay, good. So R is still the same on the GameCube, that, that's fine. 
I'm not going to use raspberries for a while, so I won't need them. I don't need that many apples, so I can store them. I like to keep one of everything, like, in terms of the status berries. Uh, I mean, my play style has shifted a lot compared to what I used to do as a kid, because I would always bring... I'd bring apples, I'd bring orange berries, uh, maybe, like... No, I don't even know if I'd bring many weapons, like blast seeds or whatever. I'd always be like, no, you gotta have apples, you gotta have orange berries, and maybe a reviver seed, and you're good. Maybe, like, a, a thing of graveler rocks, and that was, like, it. Like, only orange berries and apples, and then something to throw. That, that was basically it. That it was... It's no wonder I had so much trouble with these earlier games. Uh, but I think that's that's fine. I don't really think I'll need all the orange berries that I have. Two. I think I'll just stick with one because I'll probably pick more up in the in the dungeons. Uh, I think everything else is good here. I'm realistically I'm not gonna use this blast seed. I'll save it for later when when because it does a ridiculous amount of damage. So I'd like to save that for when it when I need that kind of substantial uh, substantial power. I like to deposit most of my items just because with exploring the whole floors you can pick up a lot and you can only have so much on your person. Actually, wait a minute. I still have... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to buy anything. I, well, do I want a max elixir? Because <sighs> having this stuff ahead of time would probably be a good, a good idea. And I don't think max elixirs are too common, at least not early in the game. I'll pick up one of those, and I think that'll be it for that'll be it for this shopping trip. I like to save most of what I have, but I feel like if I don't stock up on some of this stuff now, it'd be it might be it might hurt me later on down the road. So I'll store up on this on the, on these goodies now, and uh, yeah, that's fine. One thing that I like about the earlier games that you can't do in the, the some of the newer ones because it still takes up a slot in your inventory, you can give items, and they're not in your inventory. But in the newer games, like, it's still part of your inventory. Like, you can't hold it. It takes up a spot in your toolbox, and it... Uh, it's so inconvenient, but I guess, again, that's more playing to the to the strategy thing, so I guess that's, that's fine. We'll just deposit all of my poke, and yeah, that, that's fine. But this one's empty. I wonder what could be there. Hmm. Guess we'll find out later on. Over there, the Pelipper Post Office. Yeah, that, those are Pelippers, all right. What are we looking at? This is where information is gathered from Pokemon needing rescues in all sorts of places. Take a look at this. See this bulletin board? It lists rescue jobs. Check it out. Was that a question? Why? Why? Failed to return. Tiny Woods. Yeah, there's just so much stuff. Deliver one sleep seed. If you supply it, I will provide it. Uh, the item sleep seed is the the in thing. Please. I thought it said it was in the thing, and I was like, what? <laughs> Please find one for me. Deliver sleep seed. So, for something like that, I would imagine like you'd find it in the dungeon, but I've never been a big fan of like bring items to people. Like, I lost my orange berry. Please help, it'll make it worth your time. I want those orange berries. Like, I don't wanna give I don't wanna give you this. So usually, most of the time I just go for rescue missions. So those three are those three are fine. And I gotta make sure that I take the job, because if you don't take the job, then you you can't get it. So I guess we're gonna go back to Tiny Woods. It's a little uneventful. Uh, I mean, but then again, Thunderwave Cave is not that much stronger than Tiny Woods, so it's no biggie. See, there were jobs listed, right? If you want to go, if you want to go on a rescue, you first choose the job by selecting it with accept. Then on the job list, choose the job, then confirm it with take job to go on that rescue mission. If you don't take select job, you won't be able to do the rescue even, rescue job even if you go to the, to the dungeon. The, Dr. Croc is not good with exposition, okay? For the time being, we should just stick with the jobs posted here. Our team will become known after we do some rescue jobs. I bet we'll get job offers in our mailbox soon. And if you want to take on a rescue job, choose the time. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I know how this works, dude. Like, I get it. You're talking, and and I feel for you. You gotta get you gotta get your screen time. You gotta get your words in. But like, I'm trying to look at you, but I can't. 
This controller is too sensitive. I can't turn to turn to look and whatever. Oh man, I thought there was gonna be. Nah, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. What's up, Whisk Cash? Are you here yet? Yeah, there you are. I've heard stories have opened up in the ground here and there. Oh, fissures. How did I read that as stories? What is wrong with me? They're trouble for everyone. It worries me to no end, thinking that children will fall down into them. Yeah, that that's that's the concern, is that only children will fall into those fissures. Never mind that, you know, it's a one-hit knockout move, it could kill anything in its path. So actually, I don't even know if the one-hit if the one-hit knockouts are in this game. Like if you if you have um like if sheer cold fissure, that kind of stuff is actually in this game. I don't think they are. Um, jobless. So, what exactly is going on? What What am I looking for specifically? Find Ella Kid. I'm sad and lonely. Help me. Tiny Woods Wormple. I'm sad and lonely too, but you don't hear me complaining about it. Oh wait, I guess I just did. Ha! Okay, let's go. Tiny Woods we go. Yeah! I should have stuck on that menu for a bit longer just to listen to the nostalgia music. Uh, nah, I think you've got that one. You've got. You, do you want to use a move, buddy? Do you, hello. I was hoping you'd use scratch on it. Oh, but now you're gonna do it. Just make everything redundant. Why not just. You could have one shot at it in the first place. Ah. Now, the easy thing here would be to just take those stairs, find this elicate, and be done. But no. There, where, where's the fun in that? Get over here. Get over here, Sunkern. I need my experience. But Dr. Croc can have it first. Actually, I'm just kidding, because Dr. Croc is still a level behind. Well, I guess not anymore, but... Uh... Yeah, like, experience-wise, 740 to go, 840... That's a pretty big gap. So let's just keep on... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hello there, Sunkern. Goodbye, Sunkern. Oh, no items, are you kidding me? Maybe there'll be some in the other in the other place. Let's go for scratch. Goodbye. Critical hit, completely unnecessary. We just murderized that thing. Okay, and a dead end. That was fun. Wasn't that just fun, everybody? That was a worthwhile experience for everybody. You've reached the destination floor. Oh wait. Yo, dude, what's up? What's up, dog? Come over here. Yes, Elekid was found. Use the rescue team badge to save Elekid. Yay, goodbye Elekid. I'd like an Elekid on my team. Mission has been completed. Would you like to leave? Absolutely not. We are far from done with this place. I mean, even if that was our only mission, I would probably still stick around because it's tiny woods. Now, when the, when the, when the dungeons get bigger and I get closer to like near death, and to the point where I'd have to use items to keep progressing through a dungeon, then I might just, I might peace out, but... I mean, come on. Why didn't you scratch that thing? Experience, dude. Help. But, uh, as I was saying, well, once we get to the later dungeons, I might peace out earlier in, earlier in the adventure. But, uh, as for right now, I'm just gonna keep going. It's tiny woods. There's three floors. There's like nothing. Nothing of... Nothing necessary here. Or I mean, not... What am I even trying to say? I have no idea. Let's just scratch that thing. Goodbye, execute. I'm gonna scratch that Wurple. Now, I'm almost kind of wondering. I'm just thinking of this right now. Uh, because I can play all these different games, I'm... I just kind of got this feeling that I want to do mul like one thing I've never done before is uh, wait a minute get back here get back here Sunkern I haven't done multiple Pokemon playthroughs before like at the same time simultaneously wait this is a destination floor where you've got to be kidding me oh wait you're right there why did I think I was looking for a Caterpie it's a Wurmple god dang it I probably walked right past this thing didn't even didn't pay any attention to it Man, Team Headcase, the greatest rescuers ever. We're gonna keep going, gonna keep training. Hey, 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 What you think you're doing? Think you can get the jump on me? I don't think so. 
If I could at least get to level 10, that would be... That would be ideal. Uh, nope, stop. 580 experience. Uh, how many executes can I possibly find? Not, oh man. Maybe I'll just go until I run out of scratch. That's, realistically, that's what's gonna happen. I've got 11 scratch, 60 belly, yeah, so it's gonna be the moves that go first. And I keep hitting start to open the menu and it's not doing anything. I'm like, why did, why did it not working? Why can't I get this to work? I'll get it eventually. Hey, could one of you could one of you be a an execute, please? Can you just transform, please? Cause like executes, that's where it's at, dog. That that juicy for oh my god, I can't even walk through a stupid hallway. That's where the experience is at. Those executes. What's over yonder? Nothing. So I'm just gonna keep pacing back and forth like a madman. Hey there. Ah! I keep overstepping my boundaries. Just can't, I'm just overstepping the, the these things. I keep missing the hallways I want to go down. I did, ah, I did it again. I don't know how many times that's going to happen as I try to adjust to this GameCube controller. But yeah, because I, I also want to do an Emerald Nuzlocke or maybe a Fire Red Nuzlocke. Maybe I would do a Fire Red Nuzlocke first. Oh wow, I dropped 20 belly in that exchange, so... Or what should I call it? I, I, referring to it as just belly is kind of throwing me off. Should I say 20 hunger? I don't know how to... How, how to fix that problem. But, um... I, have, I haven't done a Nuzlocke since 2014. And I really wanna, I really wanna get back into doing one of those, because... Just watching more people do Nuzlocke's and uh, the fact that like I've got the GameCube, uh, the Game Boy Player rather, so I can I can play those GBA games. It's like yeah, for a while I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to play those games because I'd have to play them on an emulator, and that experience just was not fun for me. But getting back into the actual Game Boy stuff like this, it's uh, it's a GameCube, so it's an alien sort of experience for me. It's an alien feel, but. It is still, uh, it's still playing it on a physical thing and not as an emulator, and I, I do like that. I, I, I am enjoying this right now. So, I don't know, I might, I might start up another Pokemon series. It's just a matter of finding time in my schedule for it, because, like, I can all, the thing with a series like this is I can, I can get a backlog of it going. It's just a matter of do I have enough days in the week to cuz I want I like limiting myself to one uh one video per day. It's not even like I limit myself. I say I say it like that, but uh most of the time I don't even have enough content to post on a video per day. Oh, execute. Yes. Get over here. I'm taking you out. How do you like your eggs scrambled? I can't I can't hard boil them because I don't have ember yet. But, uh, yeah, I can scratch him up. That's a pun, right? No? Okay. Oh, man. Am I going to run out of hunger, or am I going to run out of scratch first? What's happening here? All right, scratch it is. But, yeah, I am really excited to just play more Pokemon now. But at the same time, if I, if I do multiple series at once, then it's not going to last as long. But then again, ah, man, because, like, with Colosseum and Gale of Darkness, I could upload, uh, I could maybe do, like, two of those a week. Although, normally I only do it one a week, just because I don't have the time in the schedule for it. Because the wrestling videos take up a lot of time, and then also trying to work on anime videos. Usually I don't have enough to post a video every day. But, I mean, it's a possibility. I could maybe start one up. Not many people watch these Pokemon videos either, so I almost wonder, do I... I still haven't really decided if this is going to be on a third channel or not. I say this because I'm recording it a bit in advance, but obviously whatever you're watching it on is uh, whatever whatever it's going to be on, probably. Because I would think even if I just wanted to advertise like the first part on the main channel and then put it on the third channel, I have, I have absolutely no idea. I'm not sure if I really like this 
I mean, we went with this display for how long? I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. We are gonna go over to full. And let's take a look at this. Is this a better display? Maybe this is a better display. That's kind of why I'm taking this time to figure it out. Before, especially before I do a Nuzlocke when I need to make a whole layout for it to have the team and everything. So doing this playthrough first, I might wait a little longer to actually do like a Nuzlocke or something if I want to do these things simultaneously. But at the very least, for right now, I should probably focus just on Red Rescue Team so I could work out the kinks of playing this on the Game Boy Player. Yeah, I like this display so much better. I think we're just gonna stick with this moving forward because the Game Boy Advance display, the previous thing, doesn't quite, doesn't quite look as good uh, aesthetically. I mean, it might have more personality to it because, hey, it is the Game Boy, but this, I think, just looks more professional. Anyways, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you for joining me once again, and until next time, keep on YouTubing.